Um, now, another big news that came out in the last few, in the last week or two, is that remember those Marvel Netflix shows that they, everyone was all, yeah, though, you know, Daredevil those? and all that. Yeah. Uh, they're not on Netflix anymore. And while at a certain point we might have thought, yeah, because now, you know, Disney's done with all that and all those characters are gone. No, Brett. Three of the Marvel Netflix series are now officially going to be making their premieres and migrating over to Disney+. Plus. And I think we need to unpack the implications of that a little bit. Because remember, there were five total Marvel. Actually, no, there were six with the Punisher. But yeah. you had Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, the crossover event known as The Defenders, and you had The Punisher. But right. as of now, three of those have been confirmed to be coming, and they are Daredevil, Jessica Jones, and Luke Cage. So just first things first, what is your first impression on hearing that those three are coming over? Well, having seen uh, No Way Home, and and uh, and also Hawkeye recently, mm -hmm. where we saw the reintroduction yeah. of Matt Murdock, Charlie Cox's Matt Murdock specifically, and Vincent D'Onofrio's Kingpin. Kingpin. Um, I'm not surprised now because it's obviously like, they, well, they, they must be planning something because they're yeah. in these two major movies. I don't think Marvel does that just for an Easter egg. So I know not really surprised they announced it. I mean, a little surprised maybe because I wasn't really sure how that deal was with yeah. Netflix because like I think Netflix also like might have uh, foot a lot of the bill for those also so like they were probably the main production house mm -hmm. and with marvel overseeing i don't think they weren't like marvel studios productions if i'm not mistaken so yeah uh, i'm a little interested but yeah i mean it, it's also telling that they brought the three over that are the most critically acclaimed out of them i had to put it nicely <laughs> yeah yeah i think you know and and of the three which one are you the most hopeful for that they would actually maybe continue you know, because it's one thing to bring them over and now they're in the rerun section of Disney Plus and, you know, you can go back and look at them like you can go look at the old X-Men movies and stuff. And it's like, oh, it's a nostalgic thing. But do you think there's one there that like they may be persuaded to continue or that you would like them to continue? Right. So I, I got in a, in a real pickle. Mario with these Marvel <laughs> Netflix shows. So uh -oh. I was very I was very uh, hooked on Daredevil. Uh, I mm -hmm. saw the season one and two. Love them. Um, yeah. I watched uh, Jessica Jones, which with, were there two seasons of Jessica Jones or am there I crazy? Yep. There were two. I yeah. watched both of those and they were excellent and I really enjoyed them. Uh, I unfortunately missed Luke Cage ah. and then, and I didn't, and I missed Iron Fist and then the Defenders came out and then they did Daredevil season three. But because I had not watched Luke Cage, Iron Fist or the Defenders, I felt like I was going to be out of sync. So then I also never watched Daredevil season three. And then oh, I you go. I, about a way to go about at the time that I was planning on getting into them. Then they got announced that they were canceled. So I was like, it just kind of like killed yeah. any momentum. Cause I was yeah. like, Oh, well now this is, it's just over. And so I was kind of like, Meh. um, mm. I think I checked out some of the Punisher, but, uh, yeah, just, I think at that point I might've got a little burnt out on all this stuff too. Yeah. But for me to answer your initial question, um, I would obviously love to see daredevil. I love that show. I think that show is fantastic. Um, and I would like to see Jessica Jones, uh, yeah. but you know both those shows. Obviously, I think they would probably, or Disney would want to probably tweak them if they're going to put them on the streamer. Um, yeah. Maybe like dull them down a little bit with the violence. Um, mm -hmm. So especially Jessica Jones. I mean, Daredevil was crazy too, but Jessica Jones had some more like disturbing stuff in it. It did, it did. But also to his credit, by the way, Charlie Cox has said that he would be all in favor of doing a season four that is perhaps a little less violent. You know, it, yeah, was if it up. means yeah, like, yeah. yeah, if it means like, you know, watering it down a tad to get to continue the exploits of Matt Murdock. I mean, I'm good with that. You know, I, I don't need uh, excess blood or, you know, curse words or whatever. I just need right. a good story, you know? So as provided that they, they can get a good writer. I mean, honestly, I wish that they would bring back Stephen DeKnight. Now that may not, that, that name may not mean much to you, but it means a lot to me because Stephen DeKnight, he, he not only adapted those Spartacus shows on stars that I really liked. I don't know if you ever got to see any of that Spartacus no. blood and sand and God, gods of the arena, really, really great shows. 
And then his next big thing was he did season one of Daredevil, which to me is still the best season out of any of those Marvel Netflix shows. Sure. And while I think the other Daredevil seasons were strong too, to me it was never quite the same once the night was gone. So if they were to announce tomorrow that Disney has hired Stephen Knight to come back to do a fourth season of Daredevil, I would be there with pom poms on. You know what, what if mean? they hired Stephen today? <laughs> wow! All right. Uh, oh, yeah. thank you for thanks for being with thanks us, everybody. everybody. That's we'll it. Leave week. your one star reviews. Okay. <laughs> but um, yeah, for me, out of all those potential shows to continue onward, I would say give me more Daredevil. Pretty, pretty, please. Yes. Um, but I do find it interesting that in all the talk of these Marvel Netflix shows, uh, the Punisher has seemingly kind of dropped out of the conversation too, even just amongst like the fans. Because I feel like there's like the Daredevil thing, there's been like a constant push ever since they like canceled it two years ago that we need more Daredevil. We mean we need more Daredevil. Meanwhile, I remember people were very high on John Bernthal's The Punisher. And when his yeah. series came out, there was a lot of hopes. You know, it was like really good casting. He's a great actor. You know, you'd think that there were you like, where's the clamor for that? You know, I'm just right. I find it curious that that disappeared like that, but it is what it is. 